Hello and good morning everybody. Sun is coming up right now. It's going to be a beautiful day and today we are taking a look at the Lone Wolf Dusk 19. This is what I call a Glock clone done right and for the right money. Let's get into it. So Lone Wolf has been in the Glock, aftermarket Glock game for many, many years. Uh, I've used a number of their products in the past, and they've been in the game probably as long or longer than anybody else uh, in the industry. So to get some housekeeping out of the way, Lone Wolf dis did send this to me upon my request. I wanted to check it out. Um, I had heard some good things in the early stages of this thing coming out. And the market has a number of Glock clones out there, or Glock knockoffs, what do you want to call them? Um, but they're either really, really inexpensive and have some issues, or they're really, really expensive uh, and out of the price range of uh, a, a good portion of people. So. I really wanted to get my hands on this to see what it was all about. Outside of that, I have no relationship with Lone Wolf. They've never given me any money. They didn't pay me to do this review. Uh, and this is the only thing I've ever gotten for free from them. Uh, so just understand that there is a small relationship there, uh, but it does not obviously affect my opinion or reviews. Now, with all that being said, if you like this sort of content, please hit that like, share, subscribe button, hit the notification bell. There's also going to be a link down below to a newsletter. If you find that YouTube is not showing you my videos, or if you want deals and sales emailed directly to you, sign up for that newsletter. You will get all of my videos emailed directly to you along with deal sales and promo codes. It costs you nothing to sign up, uh, but it's one of those things where <clears throat> It's me fighting the system, fighting against YouTube who routinely hides and shadow bans and uh, everything else with my videos so that you can't see them. All right, so I was so excited about this firearm that I completely forgot to mention Murphy's Guns. It's FFL here in Tucson. They're who I use all the time. I believe in giving shout outs to great companies just like I believe in holding the their feet to the fire of bad companies. Murphy's Guns is a fantastic place. They're who I use for all of my FFL transfers and my SOT stuff, all my silencers and things like that. Check out Murphy's Guns. They have a great selection, great people, uh, super, super helpful. Wanted to give them a quick shout out. Check them out right here. I'm going to put a link to them down below. With all that said, I cannot explain how much fun I have had shooting this pistol. This is a reasonably priced pistol that has all the bells and whistles that you get out of a more expensive pistol with the quality that you don't get out of the cheaper pistols uh, of this fashion. So before we get into my experience with it, let's go through some specifications. Everybody's favorite time of the video, I know. Snorefest. So I said that this was based off of a Glock platform. It is based off of, as far as I know, Glock Gen 3 and 4, meaning uh, Gen 3 parts do fit this. It has a Gen 4 reversible mag release. Uh, and <clears throat> unlike many, uh, or I should say most, Glock knockoff or Glock clone type uh, pistols, is it actually fits Glock holsters. Uh, this is a Works M6 holster and Works is known for very precision fit holsters. Um, so if there was anything about this gun that didn't fit a Glock holster, it wouldn't fit this. And so right away, right away, uh, the fact that this fits a Glock holster, you don't have to either find custom made holsters for it or um, try and source polymer 80 holsters, things like that. The fact that this fits a Glock holster is phenomenal. Now, it is 6.9 inches long without the threaded barrel version. It is uh, 4.9 inches tall to the top of the sights and weighs 19.8 ounces. So again, overall, it's Glock size, Glock general weight. 
it does have this beautifully machined uh, stainless steel slide with very usable front slide serrations and this one is nitride coated you can get pvd coated if you get the different colors like the grays and the 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 fdes and all that this one has a pvd coated stainless steel barrel and comes with night fission uh, night sight so this is a blacked out rear sight with a yellow dot front sight from night vision now it does come with a metal cover plate if you don't want to put the optic on it and the optic footprint is rmr sro the barrel itself has a very nice crown in it nice recessed crown to protect that leading edge of it so that if you do happen to drop this get a ding or dent in it it's not going to affect your accuracy now moving down from there we get into a very very beautiful frame uh, this is unlike any other glock aftermarket frame that i've ever seen most frames have stippling that is lasered or burned into the polymer frame itself meaning that it's not raised it's actually into the polymer itself this has raised grip panels on it now they're not removable but they are raised grip sections it gives you a 1911 vibe you know it, it gives you a sort of a nostalgic vibe as as fancy as this thing looks and as fancy as it is just that raised grip panel section on either on either side gives a sort of nostalgic feeling right uh, and they work incredibly well it's a checkered pattern or it appears to be a checkered pattern to my eyes and uh, the the grip is like sandpaper and I, I don't know if I want to say sandpaper velcro flypaper it really holds onto the hand well I'm able to shoot this super super flat with really good uh, recoil mitigation now part of that recoil mitigation is because it has a fantastic thumb ledge or gas pedal whatever you want to call it in both sides with that same grip texturing so check this out I mean that stayed perfectly flat real controllable around to the back of it it does have replaceable uh, back straps a flat one and a curved one I put the curved one in fits my hand better and a nice longer beaver tail so you can really really choke up on this and not get that slide bite and then the bottom of the frame has a little bit of a cutout here uh, a little bit of a beveling here for uh, mag well so to speak uh, and then a, a little leading edge that if your hand fits it right that leading edge will will uh, uh, support your pinky knuckle there again aiding in that grip now inside the frame there is a stainless steel guide rod that is nitrated uh, and it has lone wolf's extended takedown lever which i can't really show you well has the extended slide stop uh, which is nice it's something that I would probably change to a different one myself personally, but this one works great and I'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, and then the trigger, the heart of this thing, this trigger is a really, really nice trigger. So it is Lone Wolf's flat face trigger that they made for the Dust 19. And in my uh, testing with it, it breaks around four pounds, 4.3 pounds pretty, uh, pretty regularly. And it has a nice 90 degree break so you can see here that right about 90 is where the wall's at about a four pound break and a smooth let off to the wall and i'm able to shoot this pretty darn fast 174 181 17 177 now speaking of the trigger forgot to mention with the frame they did a nice deep undercut here with a double undercut here more like a swoop so to speak uh, but they didn't stop at the undercut they also made that area narrower so they made it narrower here and here 
here and here because undercuts while helping to raise your grip into uh, a lower bore axis that doesn't stop necessarily glock knuckle and um, making these narrower and swooped up the way they have really makes that that edge super super nice it also has a 1913 rail here which is a little bit out of the ordinary not that a 1913 rail there is out of the ordinary but most uh aftermarket uh, Glock knockoffs, Glock clones that have a 1913 rail don't fit Glock holsters. They fit polymer 80 holsters or custom holsters that fit that gun. And so I was very surprised that to see the 1913 rail and this thing right into that works holster, I was really happy about that. And then I guess to end it off with, it does come with two KCI magazines, uh, 15 round magazines. Um, I've used a lot of KCI mags in the past have had very, very good luck with them. Uh, in this case, however, one of the mags I would have malfunctions with with this gun. Uh, other than that, I've had zero malfunctions with this firearm. Uh, with any other mag, any other ammo, any, even the other KCI mag that, mag that came with it, uh, it's just the one magazine that I had some malfunctions with this. So what, if anything, would I change about this? And of course, this is just a personal preference thing, uh, but this slide stop, this style of the slide stop that has the extension bulge on it. Uh, I would rather see something like the Vickers Tango Down uh, extended slide stop in there. I just think it's a better slide stop. Uh, not that it functions better, but for me, being a larger shelf, I like it more. Um, again, personal preference. And there's one thing about this frame that did take me a little bit of getting used to because I'm sure it's the size of my hand to the size of the gun. Um, but where this cuts around to right here, um, it took me a little while. That sort of felt like it was digging in, you know, in that area right there into my thumb bone, my thumb bone. Um, but it didn't take long to get used to it. So uh, maybe I might later on down the road just take a piece of sandpaper and round that because that's a little bit of an edge. It's not a sharp edge, it's just a little, of a, little bit of a corner. Um, other people I've talked to that have run this gun said it doesn't bother them. So again, that's probably a my size of hand thing. Now I do love shooting this gun. It has been super, super reliable. Um, I can shoot it pretty darn fast. I think my five shot groups from a holster was like around one seven, something like that. So one and three quarter seconds from the holster to target five rounds, which I didn't think was really too bad for my skill level. Um, and again, this thing comes with everything that you want. You know, people always talk about like, oh, Glock, you spend $500 or $600 on the gun, spend another thousand making it the way you want. Um, I don't put much credence into, you know, when people say that. Uh, however, when it comes to upgrading a, say, a G19, this is everything that people normally do to it. And you're getting it for around the same price as a standard Glock. Now, for the YouTube sensors, I'm not selling anything. I am just forwarding uh, pertinent information to the viewer so that they can make the best decision that they can. And that is going to be the price of these. Again, RTT Guns and Gear does not sell firearms, and I'm not selling this firearm or any other firearm. I am just forwarding information. These come in at the low end of 530, the high end of 700 just depends on what options you get and honestly for that money for the quality of craftsmanship for the quality of that has gone into this into this gun the forward thought into many of the things with it i think you're getting a good deal all right so that is it for the lone wolf dusk 19. i have uh real close to a thousand rounds on this thing and it's just been great i love it and it will absolutely will go into my carry rotation i already carry 19 so it's not like the size uh, matters it fits in my glock holsters so it's not like i have to change holsters and the reliability has been very very good um, so yeah i have no issues carrying this gun at this point 
All right, thank you guys out there for watching. Thank you to Lone Wolf for sending that out. Fantastic pistol. And once I get into a higher round count with it, I'm going to do another video, probably around 5,000 rounds. Um, and it's been such a joy to shoot that that probably won't take long for me to do. Uh, again, thank you to Lone Wolf for sending that out. Thank you to, for, to Lone Wolf for making a such a good gun. Um, it's something that in that price bracket in that price bracket and that quality that the industry has been missing thank you guys out there for supporting the channel if you want to support the channel there's ways to do that down below of course like share comment subscribe hit that notification bell. remember to hit all notifications and all that good stuff thank you guys and we'll talk to you later